Man like Chucky. What going on, cuz? Yeah, cool. Tobo must be wanted to piece of what he's here. Oh, God. I hope you clout him up too, you know. Mm hmm. Yeah, Lani, cool. He did. Um, a few months before you come out of the grove, that is when I get the diagnosis. Mm hmm. Yeah. Because I like Dolly Part, no, no. One day at a time, sweet Jesus. That's all on my skin of you. Do, 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 do. <laughs> Oh God. yeah, I cool. Um, well, I think what shocked we yeah, was that he hyperlexic. That's how they describe. It. That's the word they give me, you know, hyperlexic. Meaning, by the time he was eighteen months, Jelani was picking up books and reading, teaching himself to read. So you understand how we could have been kind of confused now. And you hear, well, autism, because what we think it is, but it's not quite what we think it is. Yeah. I can't say how we go turn out. I don't see a woman. But, you know, I just taking it one day at a time. I do the best I could with this amazing brain the Lord gave me. <laughs> I take my guidance from the therapist. And um, I'm learning more and more from that cause and effect ABC's autism series as I watch it too. So, yeah, you know. But, oh gosh, Chucky, I need to win a lot, oh boy, because hmm, them therapy fees is pressure. Mm hmm Think the bus pipe. But, anyway, because, just let me know when he wants to come through now. Beforehand, though, because with Jelani, he does need to know everything beforehand. And everything had to be in our order. You understand? Or else it's real pressure with you. Yeah. All right, Chucks, I love you, Letters. Is a is a fact. Strictly facts. And is that? Well, um, to be honest, it is my memory, my childhood memory is kind of feeling these days. It, it kind of feel in a way. But, but some things I remember, I remember, um, like certain patterns used to, used to fascinate me for some reason. It's to be fascinated by some patterns. Yeah. I remember I, I used to have phobias too. I used to have like weird phobias. I um I used to be afraid of the color brown. Yeah, I used to be afraid of like certain objects. Um, like I remember macaroni pie. I used to be afraid of macaroni. I used I used to feel you know it was a bit a bit strange you know people then you used to I used to think people didn't want to be around me you know um, it was it was it was a bit you know difficult yeah it was it's a combination of of both you know I had you know I had the support you know at at some point you know I I say you know this is my journey you know. It, You know, just this, this fascination, like it's like a, a you see it'll be like this this world. This world where you can just explore different, you know, different colors, characters, you know. Yeah. Well a memory of, of my um earliest music memory was when I'd got my first keyboard. It was around nine. I, I used to spend like hours, literally hours on it. That's you know, it yeah, it was just my earliest memory of Stephen. Okay, with yeah, um, yes, um, it was in this the school where um, my second primary school, um, Curep Anglican. It had this this they had a school Stephen, and you know, I, I really I was really fascinated with it. You know, I say you know I used to observe the band. I used to, I was really fascinated with the band, and when I actually started playing. Was this this um was this summer camp I went to? It was this Easter summer camp. 
it had a steel pan, yeah, so that's that blame. So individuals with autism can suffer from low self-esteem uh, because of their frustration of not being able to communicate, not being able to express themselves uh, within the environment. So what happens is that we are able to, to build that self-esteem by developing a sense of competence in them and building a sense of independence when they are engaged with us by doing small, simple activities which helps them to, to feel more competent and to be able to engage more positively in the general environment. Small activities uh, could be where you do uh, an activity with the family together, uh, where there is, you're working on, for example, the ability to communicate uh, in a game, in a, in a, in a game of, of catch, where you want them to be able to wait their turn they want, you want them to be able to communicate uh, with others, not necessarily verbally, or not, they can do it non-verbally as well, where you, they are able to understand the process of being able to take their turn when it, is, when it comes around, rather than them having to just rush through the, the activity. And when they see that the activity flows and it's fluid, they're able to, to better be comfortable in that environment and use that experience for future experiences uh, within the context of that particular activity. As with all human beings, I think it is really, really important to note and to stress the importance of valuing human dignity and appreciating everybody's individual path in life. People on the autistic spectrum are no different in that regard to any of us. They may think and perceive differently than the neurotypical, but they have the same needs and same rights as anybody else. They need to feel validated. They need to feel as though they are worthy of being in the place that they are, in the school that they are, with the friends that they have, with the family that they have. They need to feel as though they are growing and succeeding and progressing. Yeah, promise is your most favorite cousin, Giselle. <laughs> what going on, promise? You good? Mm hmm. You remember when we used to climb plum tree when we were small? What you used to tell me? You used to tell me that when you grow up and you become prime minister, you're going to buy Giselle a big old house. <laughs> oh God. But I ain't nothing promise. You turn out to be a plumber and Giselle is still proud of you, whether you was prime minister, president, or plumber. You understand? That's how Giselle is go down, ride or die. You understand? But promise, I want you to promise me something. You know, you always break and promise to everybody else. You can't break no promise to Giselle, you know. Right. I want you to pick up the phone. I want you to, all your workers and them, I want you to go on the socials, Facebook, Gram, YouTube, everything. Go and look for an organization called Cause and Effect. Go to the website too. You're going to see a donate button at the top, a donate button below. I want all you to like, share, subscribe, and then donate to the organization. You understand? Yeah, Lani have autism. So it's important to me. Mm-hmm. You could do it? All right, lover. All right, cuz I love you. All right, we go talk. Take care. Like, share, subscribe, and donate. You go see how we pay link? Donate. All right, baby boy. Letters. It's a different kind of mind. It is bubble a little different than yours and mine. It's a different kind of mind. It's an old puzzle.